Hi and welcome, my name is Julianne Cost, and today we're going to take a look at the new perspective warp feature in Photoshop CC. So what I would like to do is I would like to change the perspective of the golden temple in this image. Now in order to do that, I'm going to use the edit menu and choose perspective warp. And you'll notice that I can select this option even though I'm working on a background layer. When I choose to apply the warp, Photoshop will actually automatically convert the background into a layer. You can also see that we've got some kind of guided edits here. So this is telling me that I want to click and drag to define the planes or the perspective of this image. Now to do this, I'll click and drag out one plane. And then I'm going to position my cursor close to one of these pins here. But not on top of it, because if I click and drag now, it's actually going to change the plane. So I'll use the keyboard shortcut Command Z to undo that. And then I'm going to click and drag just a little bit away from that pin. And you'll notice that when I release the mouse, Photoshop will automatically snap those two planes together. Now I need to manipulate these two rectangles or these two quad shapes in order to match the perspective of the temple. In order to do that, I'll click on each pin individually. And then I'm using those two lines there in order to match the perspective. So I'm using this line right down here in order to match the perspective and the reflection. And then I'll go back and move this one a little bit more and just refine them as necessary in order to match the perspective. Then I'll start working with this pin, just slightly adjusting it and slightly adjusting the final pin down here. I think this top pin's off a little bit, so we'll just adjust that a little bit more. Now, I can go in and if I want to make the plane a little bit longer, if I want to include more of the image, I can, if I hold down the Shift key and I click on one of these end lines here, you'll notice that I can extend this. So that's important to know because the area within these quads or these rectangles, those are the areas that we're going to be manipulating. All right, once I've got the layout done, then I'll switch over to the warp mode. Once I'm in the warp mode, you can see I've got another hint here that's going to help me to create the warp that I need. Basically, it's just telling me that I need to warp the pins. So let's close that. And you can see that as I drag any of these pins, I can change the perspective and warp the image. I can also use the arrow keys and add the Shift key in order to move a pin or nudge a pin. Now, if I want some help with the vertical or horizontal lines, making them straight, you can see that we have options for both of those the horizontal and the vertical separate, or we can go ahead and have Photoshop try to straighten them all at once. Now that's not necessarily what I want to do for this image, so I'm going to click the reset. What I actually want to do is change the perspective so I see a little bit more of the front face of the building. In order to do this, I'll hold down the Shift key and then click on this line right here. You can see that it changes to yellow, and now that's going to constrain that as a vertical line so that when I click and reposition this, we can see either more of the front of the building, or if I drag to the left, we can see more of the side. I'm going to go ahead and drag it back over to the right a bit, tap the Enter or Return key in order to apply that, and you can see how you can quickly and easily change the perspective of an image using Perspective Warp. You'll also notice that the background has been changed into a layer. So three other important points that I want to make before we wrap up. You'll notice that I was just working with the background when I started, but Photoshop has turned it into a layer. I could, in fact, use a smart object if I wanted to do this non-destructively. In addition, I drew two quads and attached them together, but you don't have to. If you wanted to change different areas of your image independently, those quads don't have to snap together. And finally, if you want to go back and forth between the layout mode and the warp mode, you can do that using the keyboard shortcuts W for warp and L for layout. So there you have it, the new perspective warp feature in Photoshop CC. We saw how you can change the perspective of a single image, but of course Perspective Warp is also an excellent way to make realistic composites using multiple images on multiple layers. My name's Julianne Cost. Thanks for joining me.